Hi guys, welcome to the course about topological cyclic homology. In this course you obviously learn what topological cyclic homology is, but also about related concepts like topological Hochschild homology and even classical Hochschild homology. And all of this will be complemented by introducing basic concepts from stable homotopy theory like stable infinity categories and ring spectra. Hi, my name is Thomas Nikolaus. I'm from Mathematics Münster and I will be teaching this course together with my colleague Achim Krause. So let me first explain a little bit what this course is, what we aim for and what the idea is. So this is like, you, you can see this like a lecture course. If you're always interested in learning about topological cyclic homology, you're right here. So the idea is that we are going to upload roughly two videos a week, but we aim at uploading two videos a week, which, which are tried to be somewhat self-contained. So the beginning videos will introduce basic concepts like classical Hochschild homology and the like. And you'll get a little bit more of a precise table of contents of what we plan to do by Achim in a second. And besides uploading two videos a week, we'll also host a little forum, a mass overflow style forum where you can ask questions when, where, where we post exercises. You'll find the link to that forum in the description below the video. And also, uh, apart from that, we are going to host probably once a week a little bit Q&A session where you can come and zoom in and we can chat about questions related to that course. In general, there are a bunch of preliminaries, of course, to follow this course or follow the videos or some of the videos. And I mean, I hope these preliminaries will become clear, but roughly we will cover basic concept of stable homotopy theory. But of course, it'd be better if, you, if you've seen roughly what a spectrum is before and know a little bit how to work in homotopy theory, even though this is not strictly necessary. And also, of course, we'll assume some preliminaries from algebra. But this will hopefully become clear as the course goes on and maybe uh, my colleague Achim will now introduce to you what exactly we try to cover in this course and you'll possibly get a feeling for what the idea and the aim is from that. Hi, I'm Achim Krause. I'm from Mathematics Münster and I will be producing these videos with Thomas. We will learn about topological cyclic homology, which is an invariant of rings closely related to algebraic K-theory and arithmetic geometry. Of course, this will involve learning about a number of related topics, which we will now go over briefly. Hochschild homology, in the classical sense, is an invariant of associative rings, but we will see that for commutative rings, it is closely related to the algebraic Dirac complex. This is the content of the hochschild kossan rosenberg theorem, or HKR theorem, which we will be proving in this course. This will also involve learning about smoothness and the cotangent complex. Topological cyclic homology is then based on a version of Hochschild homology called topological Hochschild homology, which is not built from ordinary rings through ordinary homological algebra, but instead through so-called higher algebra, which deals with ring spectra and stable infinity categories. We will learn about these concepts and uh, then also compute THH in special cases, which will involve some interesting facts about power operations. We will then introduce additional structure on THH, which will lead to certain refinements. The first of these refinements is topological periodic homology, or TP. This is where the relation to crystalline cohomology comes in, through the fact that TP is actually a kind of periodic version of crystalline cohomology. A further refinement of TP, called uh, topological cyclic homology, is then based on additional structure on THH called a cyclotomic structure. This is where the relation to K-theory comes in, because TC is, in some sense, a very good approximation to algebraic K-theory. We will finally compute TC for perfect fields and also for spherical group rings. <laughs> 